So I'm in a bit of a pickle right now. <laughs> a little bit of a uh, little bit of trouble. Well, it's not really trouble. It's just <sighs> there are a couple of people on my mind. And they're not they're not on my mind in a good way, but I find it funny because like there are certain things that that just fucking like I can't even imagine what the fuck a person could be thinking when 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 they are like the way that they're being. And see, here's the problem, right? I have this. Okay, I have this, this, whatever the fuck this is, for me to get thoughts out, right? But when I'm in this scenario, when I'm in this, this pickle, right? I can't fucking say the shit. <laughs> because I don't know if it's going to get back to them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm not trying to go there with these people but at the same time it is what is on the forefront of my brain and I cannot shake it from the both of it I'm just sitting like fuck am I supposed <sighs> okay I, I I wasn't saying that to try and like be a tease or anything I was just saying that because I'm hoping that you'll be able to relate you know, like I'm hoping that there's been times in your life where you just look at a motherfucker and just be like, I could write a book on the shit that I want to say to you, but I can't because I don't even want to be in the fucking conversation where that happens. Because see, you can't just say some shit. You got to say the shit and then you got to listen to them. And that's the fucked up part, right? That's the part that you just want to skip. Like, you just want to be able to say shit, all of the shit, just fucking let all the shit out. Just clean the brain. Just done. And then just fucking walk. Like, that's what you want to do. You just want to say your shit and then just walk. Like it's a fucking movie scene. You know? Like, that's what you want to do. But you can't do that because you're a decent fucking person. And then decent fucking people got to pay for being decent by not being able to just walk, you know? So I'm just... <sighs> just hope you can relate to, to, to this bullshit. Um, I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> Last week I said, I, like I sat on this thing and I said some very, very depressing shit. And let me assure you, um, all that is real and um, not much has changed in this week. Uh, but I have received some excellent, re no, no, that's, that's not the word. That's not the word. I was about to say excellent report and what the fuck. I don't even know how I fucked up and got to report. Ah, that's it. I've received some excellent support. Okay, now that, 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 that kind of makes more sense now that I found the word. Excellent support um, from people close and far, and, and I appreciate it all. I do. Uh, it, it has helped. Uh, I, I do feel better this week, even though my, my circumstances, oh, see, I, and I just, I want to fucking talk about it, but nope, nope, just gonna keep that higher ground there. <laughs> I want to talk about this shit, I want to talk about this shit real fucking bad. But I can't really, but you know, it, it's cool. It's cool, you know. Uh, it's just a little frustration in everyday life uh, with these with these people, and shit is going down, and I don't even fucking know why. But 
enough about that. Uh, I said a lot of depressing shit. I want to thank those who who were supporting me and and helping pull me through this shit. Um, it means the world to me. Uh, and and I, I really appreciate it. So thank you. Um, also, in in that last episode where I basically uh, leaked all of my shit out on this microphone, I, I brought up something uh, that I was going to talk about, and it was about this bullshit. There, there's this woman who I barely follow on YouTube. Like, I don't even really watch her shit, but she got... Well, first of all, as a side thing, am I the only person who does that? Like, subscribes to people on YouTube because you like them and then don't watch none of their shit? Am I the only person who does that? Like, because I, I don't... I don't... I don't know... Like, how... How that works... I don't even know why the fuck I do. Like, I see something that they uploaded, and I'm just like, not now. And then now, never fucking come. Like, the time to watch the thing never fucking shows up. It's always like, eh, not now. And then just nothing. Just fucking nothing. And and it's, I, I don't know if I'm the only person who does that. I wish I could apologize to these people. It's like, my subscription means dick to them <laughs> and their channel. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But, um, so anywho, I follow her, right? And she uploaded this shit talking about how some dude, uh, okay, there, there's like multiple degrees of separation as far as streaming. Like, dude was on a stream with another dude and then she joined the dude's stream that he was also linked to which just sounds fucking confusing but like she joined that one and I think that she uh donated some money to to that person and the person was thanking her, but then the douche that's the focal point of the story, he said in some type of sing songy way, something about jamming his dick in her mouth. Something like that. And I don't exactly remember the terminology and all that shit, but the gist was that. And she was very angry uh because that was online sexual harassment uh i think the reason that she made that video is because of how accepted that bullshit is like it it's so it's so normal for people to hear that they don't give a fuck. And so people who fall prey to that sort of behavior basically have no options other than to just sit there and take it. So she decided to make a video, right? And I go on the video of saying, yeah, I, I, I leave a comment. And my comment verbatim was dudes are assholes. I'm sorry. That's all I said. And that's what I fucking meant. Like I, I don't there there's this thing where like dudes lack self awareness. Like if you're a dude and you don't realize dudes ain't shit like, are you really paying attention? Like, do you have, first of all, do you have friends that also are in possession of dicks? Like, I don't mean this through marriage shit. I mean dick attached to their body. Like, do you have friends of this kind? 
Because if you don't know any dudes that you would call just an asshole, like I'm not talking about the ones in your circle. I ain't talking about them. I ain't talking about the ones you keep around. I'm talking about people you know and have seen and have experienced. I can tell you now. Now! (laughs) I have met way more assholes in possession of dicks than I have good, genuine people. Either that or a lot of motherfuckers then came my way on bad days. I, I don't know which one it is. I don't know. But as far as my life's history goes, dudes are assholes. You're just assholes. And it's, it's like that's so common because dudes are assholes. When I, when I hear a fucking 12 or 13 year old online talking about all of the shit he going to do to my mama. That's because dudes are assholes. Like, the kid didn't fucking... Like, I don't see what people really... Like, people don't seem to understand how kids work, even though everybody was a fucking kid. Like, the kid didn't fucking go in his room and set up a fucking chart, like, out of, like, a string theory chart and shit, and found his way to, I'm gonna talk about fucking your mama. Like, that didn't happen. That ain't happened. What happened was there's a dude in the kid's life that the kid respects. I don't know where the fuck that dude is. Could be a classmate. Could be your daddy. Could be fucking anybody. Uncle. Fucking store manager. Who gives a fuck? It's, It's a dude somewhere that this kid looks up to. The fucking kid saw this dude being like a dick. Just talking all kinds of stupid shit. And then the kid was like, oh, well, I can say that and get a reaction. And then the kid fucking did it. The kid doesn't know shit. The kid doesn't know shit. Most of the time, his kids ain't even gone through puberty yet talking about how they gonna fuck something. Like, come on now. Like, come, come on. What, what, what are we talking about? What the fuck are we talking about? Your fucking voice ain't even dropped. Your balls ain't dropped. Ain't nothing on you dropped. Everything is high. What the fuck are you talking about fucking for? Like, you don't even know what the fuck. You, you don't understand. Like, what? Like, so. Anywho, I, I responded like that. And, and, and I just left it. You know, because that's my real, that's my reality. That's my truth. So, I. I put the shit up there and then the first comment I got first white knight that that's all the motherfucker said was white knight I'm like let me get this straight knights back in the day used to fucking protect kings Right, they they had a very important job and they were highly regarded. So I'm supposed to be called a white knight and I'm supposed to get mad at the shit? Like I I'm confused in this era of gamergate bullshit where motherfuckers are throwing compliments at people. In, and and they actually think that they're supposed to be insults. Like, people don't even know how to fucking insult people anymore. This motherfucker called me a white knight because he didn't like what I said. Like, really? Like, what, what, what the fuck? Like, that, and I didn't even respond to that. Because there's no response. It's like, motherfucker, look at this nice guy over here. Look at this. Look at this good motherfucker with a job. Look at this motherfucker. Look look, look at him. Look at him being all nice and shit. Like, what the fuck is the argument? What am I supposed to say back? What, what am I supposed to say back? You know? 
Oh my gosh. I don't even. I don't, I don't, I don't. Like, there was another guy who showed up later and he was just like, um, Are you apologizing for another dude's actions? And then I just said, No. And then another person went on there and started arguing for me. And I was just like, Why? Why would you even say anything? These motherfuckers don't care. They they don't give a shit. They they're not here trying to actually learn something. They just want to say some shit to get me mad so I'll say some more shit. Like eh, eh. it's not worth it. It's not fucking worth it. And here's another thing that's not worth it. Because fuck it, I'm talking about one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> Talking about one of them. Won't mention them by name. But damn it. The description of what I'm about to say ought to be very, very fucking clear. Okay? Now, now the, the white knight shit is, is, is just weird and I don't I don't really understand it. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. But this is one of the fucking things that's on the forefront of my mind. Okay? I can't, I can't, I can't keep going without saying at least one of them. Okay, so I've already gone into the the amounts of projects that I work on, right? And, and I'm coming to this conclusion the same way that I came to the conclusion. Like, it, it ties together. The way that I came to the conclusion about the dudes calling me white knight and all that shit, I came to a very similar conclusion about this person. Okay, so I ain't just coming out of nowhere with this. This motherfucker... <laughs> this motherfucker decided, okay? Just, just made the decision, all right? To essentially... Judge what I do without knowing dick about what I do, right? So, like, he, here's the um, here here here's an analogy that that I can give you. Okay, if you make movies, right? You're a a person. Let, let's say you're a director. Right. How fucking stupid would I have to be to assume you ain't doing shit because you had a movie that just came out? Just think about that. Like, like if you, you, you just released a movie, right? And I'm just sitting over here talking about when well, you ain't doing shit. Why don't you um come over here and mow my lawn? Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Mm, damn. But yeah, like why don't you come over and mow my lawn? Because you ain't doing shit. Because your movie just came out. And it's like. I'm showing that I don't know dick about the process. Because there's a good chance. You've been working on your next movie. Since you rapped on the previous movie. And now. You still working. That shit happened to me. Where I, I was the movie maker in that, in that sense. Sitting over here working on shit. Motherfuckers try to act like I'm not only am I not, but that I owe. Like like I, I'm like I'm required to do shit that they decide I need to do because they fucking decided that I needed to do it. Fucking amazing to me. But that's not the problem. That's not the the problem is. The judgment comes from a person who don't know dick 
And when I say that, I mean they know nothing about the subject. Because see, I'm busy creating things from nothing. Okay? I made a fucking magazine with no help. No help aside from the pictures that was taken by my wife and by a friend of mine. And, and like, I, I think those are the only two people other than me who took pictures for the book. Well, it wasn't for the book. It was just they took them because they took them because they wanted to take them. And I took those and put them in a fucking book and I made a magazine. I made ads. I made fucking logos. Made all kinds of shit by myself. Nobody gave me the ideas. Nobody gave me the fucking instructions. Nobody gave me shit. Made it all by myself. Me. And then, I'm sitting over here getting judged by a motherfucker who don't do shit. <laughs> Doesn't do shit but their job. And I would have a lot more respect for that if it was a creative job. Like if you actually had to go to work and like make shit. But you don't have to do that. You have to go to work and, I don't know, stand there. Like I don't fucking, you know, like I don't know what it is that this person does. I just know what they don't do. And what they don't do is have to come up with shit in their imagination to make things happen and make things exist in the world that didn't exist before. I know that's not what's going on. Even though I don't know what does, I know that's what's not going on. If you sit up and fucking tell me that I got all this time, and I got all this fucking time on my hands where I could be doing shit that you done made the decision for me to do, like... That, that, that shit just makes my brain just sit up and just lock the fuck up. It's just like, you know, you need to cut that shit out. And I know I do. I know I do. I need to just be like, you know what? I'm going to need you to go on away somewhere. <laughs> Far the fuck away. And then I don't have to have these conversations. You know, because... Here's the problem with, with, with that kind of person. But that kind of person never comes to you directly. They never come to you directly. They always on some sad shit. They want to talk about the people. Well, I, they want to talk to the people in your life about you. But don't want to say shit to you. You know? And I don't know why the fuck that is. I, I don't I don't know. Like I if a motherfucker has a significant other and I got a problem with them, I'm not about to approach the significant other like, hey, um you know your person over there is getting on my last fucking nerve. Like I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to do that. If it's enough for me to have to go up and say something, I'm gonna say something to you directly cause that's how the fuck I roll ain't no reason for me to not do that you know saves me time energy and stress to just approach directly and not have to fucking worry about what does what do they know what do they know what I said what you know this carrying on bullshit like I don't have to deal with that you know so you just you would imagine that the shit would be easier. But apparently it fucking ain't. <laughs> Alright, so, I mean, that's that's one thing. But, like, the the main thing I took from that is, yo, you, you got, you got to consider the source, yo. Motherfucker trying to come at you about some shit you doing. Look at what they doing. Look at what they doing. 
They ain't got dick all going on. Who gives a fuck? Like, who cares what they have to say? Who cares what they think when they not doing shit themselves? And I sat up and I, I hit the reels. I was like, why the fuck have I been irritated about this bullshit when I basically have a 10-year-old sitting up talking to me about bills? That's basically what is what what I equate that shit to. It's like if a 10-year-old came up to me talking about some, you know, bills ain't all that complicated. I'm like, go sit your stupid ass down. You know, like, and I should approach this the exact same fucking way. Like, you don't know shit. You don't do anything. You don't do shit. How the fuck would you know a tenth of what the fuck I'm doing when you don't do dick. You don't know anything. Why would you even open your mouth to talk? Like, I don't understand why those are the people who always have the most to say. It's the people that ain't got shit to say. <laughs> they ain't got shit business saying a damn word, but they got fucking paragraphs ready. And I don't fucking get it. I don't, I don't. I don't get it. But then again, I just talked for damn near half an hour, and I don't even know what the fuck the point is. <laughs> I think it's really just like the the whole consider the source thing. Like, don't let people that ain't shit get you down. You know, like. Even to the point where it's like, don't even necessarily try to educate them. Because I've done that. I've tried. That shit, that's a fucking black hole. That is a void. That shit goes nowhere sometimes. It really depends on the person. People who can be educated typically don't have to be. Not on this type of shit. Because they're just like, oh... Let me not be a douche. And then they're just, they're, they're cool. You know, then they just, they're no problem anymore. They're all good. Everything's wonderful with them. It, it's the people who just don't fucking think like that. That need the education and just won't fucking take it. Oh, jeez. So yeah, yeah. Don't you know? Before anybody tries to to steal your shine, just step outside of yourself, take a beat, breathe a little bit, and then just ask yourself, "What the fuck does this person do?" And if you just can't tell because they you like you watch them and they do nothing. Leave it the fuck alone. <laughs> Cause the shit ain't worth it. And I got the motherfucking hiccups. So I'll tell you what, I'm going my ass to bed. Um Oh shit. Um yeah. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this straight gobbledygook. Uh I'm happy that I'm not uh, in the same place that I was last week. Uh, that was some pretty grim shit and it just came out. Um, but I'm in a better place now. Uh, and and again, I'm, I'm just, I'm grateful for that. And also, again, I'm taking my ass to bed. So, <laughs> thank you for listening. And uh, I'll, I'll talk with you next time.